Corey is in Scottsdale at the celebration of fine art, and you were playing Eagles there as we went into the break? <laughs> That's right. You never know what you're going to find under this big, beautiful tent here at the 101 in Hayden, you guys. Uh, yeah, that was one of the artists who also plays music here. But just look down the hallway. Uh, there is so much going on here. We have about 100 artists under uh, the tent. And if you've never been, you've just got to get out here. You can watch these artists at work as they're doing their art, whether it's a sculptor or a painter. It's all all happening right in front of your eyes. It really is fun. But let's get your forecast and then we'll sort out a couple of details on this great event uh, in a moment. But wow, what a week ahead. We've really got some good looking conditions for you. Uh, back at Sky Harbor, 79 degrees as you look across Tempe Town Lake. We topped out at 80 today, which is great. Just a couple of degrees above the average. 94 on this day. You got to go way back to 1900. Uh, 76 in Florence, now 70 out Wickenburg Way, 79 out there with the good guys and gals at Luke Air Force Base. 59 at Window Rock and Springerville. Hello, Sedona. You come in at 63. 60 degrees in Prescott. And here's a look at the west. And we do have weather on the move uh, through the Pacific. We've got showers in the Bay Area up toward Doe, Truckee, and uh, Donner Pass. A little bit of light snow falling up that way. But heavier weather is on the way across Oregon and uh, extreme northern California. And that may figure into our world as uh, that low gets close to us. In fact, by the time we hit Thursday, ahead of that weather, we'll see winds pushing maybe 25 miles an hour or so. So tomorrow's going to be a breezy day as well. And as far as the rain goes, not a great possibility. We'll have to keep it in the forecast. By the time we hit about Thursday, when that low cruises past us, we'll put in about a 20% chance uh, for showers. But hey, are you here for baseball? We're so glad you are. This Cactus League look is great for tomorrow. It'll be breezy, but again, plenty of sunshine, and uh, we'll call at about 77 as you uh, wrap up uh, the game. First pitch always at 105. But here are your lows for tonight under clear skies 40 in Safford, 52 in Yuma, and 40 degrees in Nogales, 54 overnight for the Valley. And tomorrow, what a winner at 80. It's going to be great all over the state tomorrow, no matter where you are. 67 in St. John's for your Tuesday, about 78 over at Lake Havasu City. And uh, the rest of that forecast looks for Pretty good. Again, a slim chance for a shower on Thursday and Friday, but not great. Although Friday, be ready. We're going to drop those temperatures considerably. Uh, the high uh, that day at about 69. So John and Tina, it's all looking great. Now, here's what I love. This is Matt Seavers. He's well known in the valley. He's at work right now, right in front of our faces. Matt, that looks fantastic. My ears are burning. I, I love it. What do you? Is there a name for this piece yet? No, but. It's Arizona. You're yeah. doing the weather. It's Arizona skies, well, right? It's so, hey, look, the, did you see that cockapoo down there? There's no cockapoo. Oh no! Oh, he, he, he dashed. He dashed around the uh, <laughs> around the corner. That you probably didn't see him. Now here's what part I like. I need a little more. Oh, did you catch me there? I like the, wow. I like the drummer who likes to change a uh, to the in the song, so I get it paid on the back end from the oh, album course, as a yeah. songwriter. So I, I Corey, got my own. Uh, I've got my own stink this? on this piece I'm now. Corey, you reminded me. Think. Matt's pretty easy going. You're reminding me of the people yep. who were uh, protesting climate throwing soup all over the Van Goghs and all that stuff. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you know, my friend John back at the station, he's yeah. worried uh, because John, his kids are really roughhousers. Okay. They were among the crowd that threw the tomato <laughs> soup on the Mona Lisa. No, and, I disown him if that yeah. happened. Wow. Well, no, I'm just kidding. No, he, he would not have children like that. But, uh, yeah, thanks for letting me <laughs> say that around again. here. And come see Matt. What's your website? Um, it's Matthew Sievers Fine Art or MatthewSievers.com. Love it. You walk that way, and we'll follow you out as we head to the break. Look at the artist and his work. If it's I were so Matt, cool. I anyway, would not leave uh, he's that one of, uh, spot. He's taking he's taking oh, a no. big risk. I think so too. This is where I get my work done. <laughs> I'll be right oh. over here. Oh. That's right. Oh no, nothing to see here. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh no. Wow. I'm worried. Take the paintbrush out of his All hand. Right. Call security. It's looking better. I didn't think it could look this good. <laughs> hey, how do you spell Kilroy? Oh, oh no. <laughs> wow. Oh.
<laughs> and saw him, he was um, defacing well, art. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, celebration of art in Scottsdale. It's great. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's so fun. I love it out here. We're going to meet Susan Poget, who runs the whole thing. Look at this beautiful piece. This is uh, by Veronica Sandoval, and you are looking at a five millimeter thick piece of tin, and these are the tools that are used to work all of these designs into the tin. It's actually pressed by hand and then painted with this acrylic and baked in. It's an unbelievable uh, work, and there's so much work that goes in to these pieces, and lucky for us, we've got Susan Poget, who is now, well, everyone loves you, oh. of course. You're so well known in the world of art. 34 years. 34 years, we've been doing this. And and how, how did the idea come about? Had you seen this sort of a model, you know, artists in residence doing their work in front of people? A little bit, yeah. My dad actually started this, um, and my stepmom, they traveled to Laguna Beach, and they were inspired by the Laguna Beach Festival, uh -huh. and thought Scottsdale would be a perfect place to do something like this in the winter. So yeah. here we are, 34 years later, are still going strong. And I love that we can see an artist at work. By the way, what, what medium are we seeing? Here? I'm weaving copper. So these are just little, so I oxidize the copper with acids, then I cut them up and weave them together. So these are all copper weavings. I've never seen woven copper, and I am so glad that I stopped by Meldrum. Is that your? Sherry Meldrum. Sherry, gotcha. And what's your website? Uh, SherryMeldrum.com. Very good. M E L D R U M. Thank you so much. Well, so, uh, again, with a hundred artists, the artists at work. They it, that is what's so good. fun, and because some of this work is so intricate. I think as any art lover or one who appreciates it, you have to look at it and think, how in the world did this happen? Who, who is, who's the genius? Like the felt, the felt that we're looking at right now, that is uh, leftover felt from making hats. Oh my so Green gosh. Hat Works up in Colorado, that's where Sunday and Brad Rupert get all of their felt to make their felt sculpture. It's creation. so fantastic, and the variety is amazing. This, I love Bryce Pettit's work. It's so, yes. it's so realistic and it's whimsical at the same yeah. time. It makes you feel like you're right there with the animals. He's, he's got a great passion for, for animals and he wants to bring them to uh, everyone to enjoy. And he's a great guy to talk to. Yeah. He actually just sold a chess set made out of all animal pieces. Oh, how fun. It's fabulous. Now this is Sherry Lyon. Yeah. Sherry, what is about to happen here? So I am just in the gesso stage. Mm -hmm. I put this down, it's a protector and a barrier. Um, and then I get going with the hot wax and the fire and I get to play with. And so we're looking at wax? It is, it's wax, yep. It's one of the oldest God. forms of art there is. You have is. a very big brain. No. No, it's Egypt true. Did. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Egypt. Yes. And thanks to Sherry for keeping this uh, type of uh, art, this process alive. There's so much to see. I, you, you could do a whole week here oh, you and could. spend, uh, I'm sure you have many return oh, we customers. Do. And that's why we do a season pass. So you come in once, you get a season pass good for every, you can come all 72 days, although we are down to our last two weeks. Mm -hmm. We're here every day, 10 to 6 until March 24th. And actually next Saturday, the 16th, we're open till 8 o'clock. People can come out and enjoy a little art after dark. Yeah, really that's fun. fun. Yeah. And uh, again, you've got artists, first timers and some long timers as well. Oh, this is you. Tina Roy's first year. Tina, so nice to see you. She's a Scottsdale native and her work yes. shows it. And we, we, we must run now. I'm so glad to see Kurt Matson. Kurt, Kurt we meet again. How Good to see you, you friend. Good Fine, to see thank you, too. you. Well, I see you're working on the bunnies I here, am. but you're no stranger to old cowboys, jackrabbits, priests. You are a sculptor who loves the the natural face, am yep. I right? Yep, well, and it's all about the West and all the different iconography and the history of the West, because ultimately that's what we're talking about, is being able to take people into the West and what the real West is really like. Yeah, well, if you don't mind, Kurt, yeah. it would be a crime. I, I know you're very modest, but it's well, better to have this right here, don't you, you think? Go. We just want to make sure everybody understands <laughs> that 
I'm kind of a big deal. Yeah, I know. I noticed <laughs> Joe, Joe Wayne over here. I saw him take your plaque and put it off to the side. That seems unkind. Uh, well, you know, it just sometimes it happens like that. You haven't heard trash talking, you guys, until you see a couple of artists get after each we other. Have a lot of fun here. <laughs> I know. Well, we've got to fly for now, but there's more coming from the Celebration of Fine Art. Easy to find. Get on the web and get your tickets uh, running now through the 24th of uh, March. And this is clay. You're oh, looking wow. at clay. It's unbelievable. And I know, I, again, big brains all around. Are you going to try to deface that For too? For sure. Or, or have Get you? Get Corey out of there before anything bad happens. Oh, yeah. Kurt, if you don't mind, I like to make a few strokes on anyone's <laughs> oh, yeah. work just so I kind of, you know, <laughs> well, I want to wet my beak when it finally sells. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, there you go. I've got some play right here, Corey. Oh, man. Just go for it. Yeah. Hey, who, you've seen a three-eared rabbit? They've got them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of work I do. <laughs> All right, we'll Corey. see you in a little bit. Thanks, we'll check Corey. back. In. If you're a fine arts lover like Christina, <laughs> you don't have to go far to see all kinds of great work. A celebration of fine art is underway in Scottsdale. Yeah, 100 different artists from all around the country in one spot for you to check out. Corey McCloskey stopped by for more. Evening again, everybody, and welcome back to the celebration of fine art. We're about the 101 and Hayden. If you've never been, it is one of the most glorious places. You're going to see a hundred artists, many of them doing their work right in front of your face. And of course, they're displaying their art as well. This image, the work of Bill Pack, perhaps the premier auto photographer in the world. He just won one of the most prestigious uh, competitions, the Refocus Awards. Uh, more than a thousand artists uh, competing for that uh, top prize. And here's the man himself. Bill, thank you so much. Uh, how do you describe what you do? You know, I look for the lines in the design of the designers. Mm -hmm. So I go in and I try to uh, find the original lines that they sketched out mm -hmm. by hand. And then I light it in a way so that I can um, ac accentuate those lines. So I'm in a dark space. Mm -hmm. um, my lens is open for about 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. I'm in this image here. I'm on the other side and the camera's here. And then I take my light and I go over it. And you're at, so light. your light is in motion. That's what fascinates me. I mean, all of us mortals, <laughs> we just have a light. We try to get near a nice window with some light coming through, but you were actually walking past this beautiful car and that long exposure helped to capture what you were doing. Exactly. How many passes might you have to make to satisfy Bill? Oh, that can vary. So, you know, so, um, probably about 10 to 15 different passes mm -hmm. I'll go through and I'll make little adjustments so that I can bring in the shadows where I want them. Now, this is Caleb over here. Caleb, look at your world. This yeah. is impressive. This Thank is you. heavy metal, yeah. of course. Heavy metal. Yeah, and uh, when you say to your mom, mom, this is how I'm gonna make my living, what does mom say? Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, she's she, a mom yeah. she has to say that no, right she was extremely supportive um, I've been doing this since I was a junior in high school mm -hmm. and she let me start blowing glass in the laundry room at the house I grew up in and now I've kind of transitioned into all this metal work but I used to just be a glass blower it's so gorgeous Thank well you. I have a feeling your work is all over the world. I yeah. can see this almost anywhere. Caleb, thank you so much. Come see Caleb Sigler. He's out here as well. And look over here. It's Brian Sykes, the pri the Prince of Charlotte, North Carolina. Is this, this is wood? Yeah, You've got to be kidding me. Here. This is redwood with ebony, bloodwood, and holly. Oh, man. What do you call this beautiful piece? Uh, Cirque de Bird. Cirque de Bird, I love it. Uh, you hesitated, I was going to give it a name, but it's good that you came up uh, with your own. Thank you very much. Now, this is Susie Amblade. Now, Susie is hard at work right now in front of our faces. How are you doing? Great, thank you. And I think almost everyone believes that most watercolorists will paint fruit. You're actually doing it right in front oh, of yeah, our faces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the grapes are beautiful. And your work behind us is just fantastic. Um, 
what, how old were you when you thought to yourself, I like this, I, I could do this all the time? Well, I was a little kid. Um, mm -hmm. First grade is when I first noticed I liked watercolor or artwork, mm -hmm. um, but I didn't like watercolor until college. I was yeah. a trip to Italy in 2010. And oh, those Italians. Yeah. They can convince you of almost anything. It was the pizza. Yeah. <laughs> it always is. Oh, Susie, thank you very much. Well, let's Here's look Barbara over Barbara. Barbara's shoulder. You just keep working, Barbara. We're going to take this segment out looking at your... I can't believe that this is done. I have the same brain as Barbara. I'm sure it's smaller than Barbara's brain, but... This is all coming out of her brain, her mind, and her hand. It's so lovely. Uh, quickly uh, then, Susan, as we wrap up, give me the details, the website, the cost, the parking, all the rest. CelebrateArt.com. Mm -hmm. We're open every day, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. through March 24th. We're open till 8 on Saturday, March 16th. So come out for that. Oh, yeah. Art after parking dark. Parking is free. Love parking that. is free. The experience is great. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Well, I'm glad we're getting together yeah. again. 34 years for we the... We love uh, our Fox viewers. Oh, yeah. I know. They're they love you as well. Yeah. And uh, again, come see the art happening right in front of your eyes. See you soon, everybody. The Fox 10 Weather Experts with Corey McCloskey on Fox 10 News. And good evening again, everybody, and welcome back to the celebration of fine art. If you have not been out here to the 101 and Hayden, you've got to come. It is so much fun, uh, and it's a couple of months long. We've got uh, until the 24th of March to get out here to see these artists at work right in front of you and, and see their finished work as well. Uh, behind me right now is Becky Pasha, and she is hard at work. We're going to get to you in just a second. You keep uh, laboring over there. Her, th her work is just beautiful, evocative of the the atmosphere if you will and we've got a great looking day going on you might as well take a picture of this that's how nice it is outside but let's get to your forecast and uh, then we'll wrap things up with this uh, hard-working artist as well 80 degrees at Sky Harbor uh, temperatures are going to be looking good for the rest of this week till we get to about Friday when we're gonna oh by the way it's a dog friendly environment uh, we've got a dog uh, yipping back there uh, as you look across the valley now 76 in Florence 78 in Ahwatukee, the same out there with the good guys and gals at Luke Air Force Base. 70 out Wickenburg Way, Window Rock at 58 and 76 in Yuma. Hello, Sedona, you come in at 61 degrees. And it's been a beauty of a day. Uh, we've cleared out the clouds for most of this Monday. And uh, we actually have seen a couple of sprinkles across the northern part of the state as the sort of the leading edge of a cold front is starting to work its way through there, kind of uh, trailing some clouds uh, from up uh, in the Rockies. But our weather for the rest of this week is going to be changing. We're still going to see good days, uh, at least through about Wednesday and Thursday, but or th Wednesday anyway. But look how the winds will be picking up as we make our way into Wednesday and Thursday. So it'll be a gusty stretch for sure. A breezy day tomorrow, but heavier winds later in the week. Your chance for rain hanging at about 20% for Thursday and in into Friday. If you're out here for baseball, good for you. You picked the right year to come. We've had terrific weather, and tomorrow's going to be, going to be an absolute winter as well. Sunny day and uh, plenty of nice temperatures. We'll be in the mid to upper 70s, so get your sunscreen on. 30 at St. John's for tonight, 52 in Yuma, and 36 degrees down in Douglas. And for the valley, we'll drop you off at about 54 in the morning. Uh, as we uh, make our way through the day, we'll call it about 80. And uh, for the rest of the state tomorrow, again, daytime highs will be at about where they should be or maybe a degree or two warmer. And then on we roll into the rest of the week. As I said, things will start to pick up uh, wind-wise as we get into Wednesday. But Thursday and Friday will be our big changeover stretch. Look at those temperatures. We drop the hammer on the thermometer, upper 60s for Thursday and Friday with a chance for showers. Now. Becky, I love what you're up to. I love your arsenal of <laughs> weapons here. How do you describe your type of painting? I mean, we see everything here. Right. Um, I really paint the atmosphere. I start with the idea, and I look at a photo and put it away, and I try to paint from memory. Because I'm not trying to show people where I have been, I'm trying to trigger a memory in them. Yeah. So someone might say, oh, this looks like France, this looks like California. Mm -hmm. Um, I really don't care where it is. I just think it's super cool that we have that connection. Yeah. And I try to paint the feeling of a place. I love this big, big sky. And I know they vary from painting to painting, but boy, this seems like 
endless possibilities to me. And I love that Western look. Where would you imagine this vineyard is situated? You have an imagination, too. Yes. Um, well, a client walked by a little bit ago and said it looked like California, so now that's stuck in my head. But um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I always think more of Europe for the vineyards. Yeah. And is this a commission painting, then? No, no. I'm just painting this for fun. Gotcha. All right. Well, yeah. come see uh, Becky uh, Pasha. And what's your website? PashaPaintings.com. No one can spell Pasha. I know. P-A-S-H-I-A. Gotcha. Thanks so much <laughs> Thank for sharing you. all your talent. And uh, John and Tina, it's all happening out here at the Celebration of Fine Art. So I do have a you question. If you have not been, come out and see us. Yes, go okay. ahead. Um, okay. I'm kind of I'm curious about pricing out there. Because some of these artists, oh. some of them are well-known, some are up and coming. Mm -hmm. Are the prices accessible to the public? Good question. Uh, my friend John, um, he's loaded. <laughs> Believe me, oh, this yeah. guy is rolling, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. What his question is, uh, can the normal person, not like John, can regular folks find something at a price point that they can invest in? Absolutely. You know, uh, is, there's a range, I assume. Yeah, we literally have something for everyone in style, medium, price. Um, so you shouldn't worry that it's it, too fancy for it. you. No. Yeah. Everybody's welcome. And that's the most important thing here is people love how they feel when they come in here and the community that is, is all about the celebration of fine art. If you've got $200, is there something here Absolutely. you can Absolutely. You will find wow. a gem wow, that's great. that yeah. can go home with you. Love that. Yes. And if you've got $20,000, that's available as well. We can do that as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I that's don't, so Corey, for the record. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> John, you don't have to put on some kind of weird airs for me. That's totally fine. <laughs> I know. That is I kid. That's what I do. No, I know. That is really interesting because people watching this are going, well, is this something yeah. I can afford? So true. And it sounds like yes. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. I, I, and if from small pieces, hand yeah. worked things to, you know, you've seen it all from the sculptures to the fabric to the paintings. Yeah. And Susan was right. And I'll wrap with this. You better carve out some time because if this is something that interests you, you could be here for several hours because you can just stand. It's like a it's like 17 museums. Oh, all, wow. All so it's a huge life. space. Yeah. It's pretty extensive. Yeah. Yeah, with janitors who know what they're doing. Like this guy, he's just the, he's just the custodian. He, he just walked through one day and David picked up a brush and said, well, this doesn't look too hard. <laughs> turn me loose, turn me loose. Bell knife brush. I love that. That's great. Thank you, Corey. All right, thank yeah. you. Sure.